Good morning, Donna. His Truth Be Told Ministries, here for a morning reading of the Bible. I am currently reading from the third year of our three-year plan. I will be reading from the NASD. Uh, if you have any comments um, or a verse that stands out to you, put it in the comment section. Oh, excuse me. Mm. Okay, so let's see. We are in Leviticus, and we are in chapter 17. Let me get a sip of my coffee before we get started. Oh, yeah. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, Speak to Aaron and to his sons and to all the sons of Israel and say to them, This is what the Lord has commanded, saying, Any man from the house of Israel who slaughters an ox or a lamb or a goat in the camp or who slaughters it outside the camp and has not brought it to the doorway of the tent of meeting to present it as an offering to the Lord before the tabernacle of the Lord, Blood guiltiness is to be reckoned to that man. He has shed blood, and that man shall be cut off from among his people. The reason is that so that the sons of Israel may bring their sacrifices, which they were sacrificing in the open field, that they may bring them into the Lord at the doorway of the tent of meeting to the priest, and sacrifice them as sacrifices of peace offerings to the Lord. The priest shall sprinkle the blood on the altar of the Lord at the doorway of the tent of meeting and offer up the fat in smoke as a soothing aroma to the Lord. They shall no longer sacrifice their sacrifices to the goat demons with which they play the harlot. This shall be a permanent statute to them throughout their generations. Then you shall say to them, any man from the house of Israel or from the aliens who sojourn among them, who offers a burnt offering or sacrifice and does not bring it to the doorway of the tent of meeting to offer it to the Lord, that man shall be cut off from his people. And any man from the house of Israel or from the aliens who sojourn among them, who eats any blood, I will set my face against that person who eats blood and will cut him off from among his people. For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you on the altar to make atonement for your souls. For it is the blood by reason of the life that makes atonement. Therefore, I said to the sons of Israel, no person among you may eat blood, nor may any alien who sojourns among you eat blood. So when any man from the sons of Israel or from the aliens who sojourn among them in hunting catches a beast or a bird which may be eaten, he shall pour out its blood and cover it with earth. For as for the life of all flesh, its blood is identified with its life. Therefore, I said to the sons of Israel, you are not to eat the blood of any flesh, for the life of all flesh is its blood. Whoever eats it shall be cut off. When any person eats an animal which dies or is torn by beasts, whether he is a native or an alien, he shall wash his clothes and bathe in water and remain unclean until evening. Then he will become clean. But if he does not wash them or bathe his body, then he shall bear his guilt. Um, so I mark verse 14 as my verse. For as for the life of all flesh, its blood is identified with its life. Therefore, I said to the sons of Israel, you are not to eat the blood of any flesh, for the life of all flesh is its blood. Whoever eats it shall be cut off. Excuse me. And that's it for today, my friends. I'd like to thank you for joining me to read God's word. It has been my pleasure to read with you. To get a copy of this reading plan and many others, please visit HisTruthBeTold.org. There you will also find the studies we are currently offering, as well as other items of interest. Last but not least, please hit like and subscribe to be notified of new content. Have a great day in the Lord.